In the last screencast, we made a simple game that made use of some of the fundamentals of programming, things like sequences, loops, events, and conditionals. Now what we're going to do is use the concept of data, which lets us store, update, and retrieve values. So we're going to add the idea of lives into this, so that when Scratch the cat crashes into a wall, he'll lose a life, and after three lives have been lost, the game will be finished. So what we need to do is first we need to create some data. So I can click make a variable and I'll call this lives. You should always name your variables by um, a reasonable name. So don't call them var1, var2, var3. Um, and at the start of the game, we should set our lives to three. So I can see up here in the top left hand of the screen, Scratch is already handily showing us what lives is. I can turn that on and off if I want to, and I can make it different styles by clicking on it and if I click on this you can see it's changed to three so that should happen at the beginning of the game so I'll drop it in with that sequence of commands there so when the game starts scratch gets three lives when he touches the red wall he should lose a life so I can change the lives by minus one let's see what happens when I just click on that you can see this drops down so let's put that in. So after he says, oh no, for two seconds, lives gets changed by minus one. And let's just check our code. It's always a good idea to see how things work. So I'll press the go button, crash into the wall, lives drops down to two. Okay, so that's that part is working. Now we need the bit so that when lives gets to zero, the game ends. So when I'm asking a computer a question, remember I'm using a conditional. So let's go back to control. I need to find something that's going to fit in here so I can ask that question. And this time we're going to use an operator so that I can check if the, the, the lives is equal to zero. So here's the thing that lets me compare two numbers. Go back to data, drag and drop the lives variable in there. If lives is equal to zero, then do something. So what I'll do is I'll make him say game over. And I'll also go to control and use the stop all command. Put that in my loop so it's being checked all the time. And then let's see if that works. So I start the game, I can see the lives goes up to three. I'm not so good at steering, so I keep crashing into the walls. And when lives equals zero, it says game over and he's no longer moving.